Welcome to today's Fast Track episode of The Growth Zone. My name is Christian Bartsch and these episodes provide you with a focused mind-feeding topic. You can use it to have some new ideas to guide you through the day. Let's get started on today's topic. As I mentioned in my previous episode about engineering and the different opportunities in the job market, you will have to see as well if you are thinking what to study in the future. Maybe you're just leaving school and you're going to study something or you've been in, in a job and you've noticed that it isn't really what's fulfilling you and you decide you want to go to university or back to university and add on a different um, education. And even if you already got a university degree and decide to add on something, then you should be thinking, okay, what's fitting? Let's say you have a business degree. Then, of course, adding IT or engineering would be a good thing. And if you're just starting out, going towards engineering subjects is definitely good. But you'd have to think, okay, engineering is a wide field. There are construction engineers, electronic engineers, um, healthcare engineers. There are so many, so many areas in engineering. So if you're really out to something that will be with a big, big future and promises many opportunities, especially if you are uh, enjoying rapid development, new innovative technology and a very fast market and opportunities to be around the world in different countries, then you'll have to look towards electronics. You'll have to look towards electronics, engineering, uh, partly even even combining mechanical engineering with um, other kind of engineering, let's say uh, avionics or shipbuilding, electronics and engineering, other fields, automotive engineering. Yeah, you, you, you've heard so many people are losing jobs in the automotive section and you're asking, um, why should that be good? Well, the thing is, look at how we are going to be commuting in the future. Things are massively changing. We're going away from combustion engines, the classic combustion engines that use diesel, petrol and so on, towards engines that either are fully based on electric engines or a combination of electric engines and combustion engines. But these combustion engines are going to go away from diesel and petrol towards hydrogen. You might say, of course, hey, but we've got as well um, all these gases that uh, we're getting from, from the Earth, the same thing. These are limited resources. So looking at uh, even biogas, I would say that's, uh, that isn't really the kind of combustion uh, engines that you want to have. So it'll be hydrogen and electric engines. That's the future. Definitely. And it's going to change as well all different areas and what kind of jobs will be needed. Because, of course, the world of suppliers, automotive suppliers, is massively changing. Many will be either restructuring or leaving the industry. And if you look towards other industries, there are many opportunities as well in electronics. If you go towards a company that develops rapid technology in computer science, in telecommunication, and data processing. All these areas are really a future. And if you have the combination of engineering and IT, you are even able to have quite some interesting things when you're able to develop engineering technology and combining it as well with your programming skills. It doesn't mean you have to be a crack programmer, but you, uh, you have your necessary knowledge and you can work together with somebody who maybe is mainly a programmer and has maybe some basic understanding of engineering. And that's where you can team up then and be quite a good team member in a team that is diverse but capable of developing really interesting new technology. So that's why you should be focusing on and you can yourself towards engineering and IT, especially as well related to hardware, to software, 
telecommunication, signal telecommunication, and even if you've already got a degree, let's say you've got a degree in radio communication engineering, there's lots of opportunities. And even if you would say, well, you're 42 and you've got your degree here and you've worked like, let's say, 10 years in industry and you think, okay, I want to do something different, but I'd have to study again. No, you, you don't have to study again. You have to re-educate yourself, get new knowledge, adjust and work on new things. And if you think you'd like to add something on top, of course, you can even do distance educations in many countries around the world. And they are affordable because look at what it costs you to get the skills in contrast to what you can get. Yeah, so there are many opportunities. If you're, of course, just looking to, for the classic employer, the classic corporate employer, um, then you might not be able to regain your investment in education. You have to look towards startups and new evolving companies that provide, for instance, stock options in that. That's something I'll be talking in the future. So providing you as well insights how you can drive your opportunities as either an entrepreneur, a co-founder or an employee who is joining as one of the first few of a new business that eventually becomes maybe the next Google or anything like that. I hope you enjoyed the Fast Track edition of today. I would like to invite you to follow our show so that you don't miss the upcoming interviews with leaders in the market. Simply visit the website follow.prmediareach.com I will be adding the link also to the description of this episode so that you just need to click on that link. The link is follow.prmediareach.com follow.prmediareach.com You can follow me also on Twitter by using the Twitter handle capbarch so it's spelled C A P B A R T S C H. Or for those who are into sailing and uh, flying, Charlie Alpha Papa Bravo Alpha Romeo Tango Sierra Charlie Hotel. Yes, that's C A P Barge. See you soon or hear you soon in the next episode. And please share as well this episode if you've enjoyed it and would like to let others have the opportunity to use that as well to get new ideas and insights. Mm -hmm.